Well, here in Arizona, with the record number of days with temperatures over 110 degrees, our flowers and plants are looking a bit heat-weary. On the last day of his vacation in France, Jack Salvatore takes a tour around Exxon Oat, where the flowers are in abundance. In France, when summer arrives, so too do the flowers, and they are everywhere. No window sill left without a flower pot, upstairs or downstairs. No arch unadorned. Flowers on the tops of walls. Flowers at the top of staircases, seldom if ever used. And what's more important, being able to see a street sign or flowers? In France, the answer is flowers. Flowers line driveways. Flowers frame driveways. And even where there's a chunk of land with no house, there are flowers, an explosion of color in these wildflowers. This house is abandoned. It has obviously seen better days, but not the abandoned yard, alive with wildflowers of all colors. No sign announcing your arrival into town would be complete without a floral arrangement at its base. This town says it is a village fleuri, a flower town. Well, what town isn't in France? A street sign warns motorists to bear right. Have to have a flarden for that. World War II monument? Flowers adorning the wrought iron fence. This piece of old industrial equipment, a dandy excuse to use it as a prop for this floral display, and hey, why not let's put a little flower garden in front of it as well? Same for this old carriage, horse-drawn no longer, now a splendid repository for flowers. City Hall in this town, an explosion of flowers, flowers here, flowers there, flowers everywhere, row upon row of flowers all over the grounds of the city's main administration building. Even the rather austere police headquarters, the gendarmerie, gets into the act a little bit with flower pots and the second story windows. My neighbor across the street laments to me that the wind has blown away many of her flowers, you couldn't tell by me. This is our next door neighbor's house here in Exxon Oaks, France. As you can see, a stunning array of flowers, flower boxes stuck on the side of the house and everything just beautiful. And here's our contribution to the flowering of France in our house here. As you can see, these Americans have a long way to go before they can be considered French, at least as far as flowers are concerned. In Exxon Oaks, France, I'm Jack Salvatore, News 28 Prime. Thanks, Jack, and Jack should hopefully be back to the anchoring duties tomorrow evening. In sports, a quick look at area high school football openers. For the most part, the local teams took a drubbing this past Friday. The only team to come out on top was Eloy Santa Cruz, beating Phoenix South Point by a vicious 47-0. to zero.